Good afternoon, everyone. So this morning, um, about six o'clock, I sprayed this paddock, but I only sprayed half of it. So the plan is that we are going to compare the difference in spraying and not spraying. So what I sprayed into the left side was I sprayed on uh, gibberellic acid and urea, and on the other side I sprayed nothing. So we are going to see, there's actually preside in here as well, so we'll be able to see what weeds it kills and doesn't kill. Um, so I've never actually measured to see how much gibberellic acid makes a grass grow. So I'm very interested to see, very interested to see what it does. Um, I've seen it, but I haven't measured it. So um, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to measure it shortly. We're going to see what's in the paddock now, and then we're going to uh, every every week we're going to measure it to see how much it's growing, comparing the sides. So I've actually marked it with standards. There's a standard right here. Just there and there's one up on the hill and one down by the gate and I've tried to choose a paddock which is flatter more even um, and this one here is the one I've picked so last season yes last season first first paddock I drilled this one had uh, winter star put in it so I don't think there's much winter star left in it but um, we will find out um, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not a salesman for gibberellic acid or anything like that. This is just me wanting to find out what's going on. Um, and I thought it'd be quite good for you guys to see. So, um, yeah, that's the, that's the plan. So, uh, someone asked me how I got to $15.50 per hectare to spray for the, you know, the cost of it. Um, well, we'll go through that now. So, currently, urea is... $13,379 a tonne. Um, so if you divide that by, if you've got 1,000 kgs in a tonne, so you divide it up, it's $1.38 a kg. And with uh, my sprayer and the rate that I'm putting on at the moment, I'm putting on it at 3 kgs to the hectare. So um, 3 kgs, well, $1.38 times 3 kgs is $4.60. So there's four dollars sixty per worth of urea going on per hectare, and then the gibberellic acid is ten dollars fifty two um, per hectare going on. So that's how I got to that. Um, the so it works out. It actually works out as fifteen dollars twelve, but I just rounded up to fifteen fifty. Um, so I hope that's right. You'll correct me if I'm wrong. All right. So the the 30 kgs of urea that I dissolve in the spreader, you can put that on at whatever ratio you want. I get three loads out of it, so it's 10 kgs of urea going in each load, which gets spread out over three to three and a half hectares. Um, but you could you could do six loads if you want and put it on at five, put five kgs of urea into your spreader and it's gonna go on at a lighter rate. So yeah, you can do whatever you want. <clears throat> uh, you can put it on a bit heavier, you just gotta, you can't put it on when it's hot like spraying on urea is all right in the summer uh, sorry in the winter i believe but in the summer you'd have to be careful you don't burn the leaves so yeah you can do whatever you want it's just that's just how i do it so that's how i've got that figure 30 kgs of urea dissolved 10 kgs in the spreader each load getting spread over three and a half hectares works out around three kgs a hectare it's all roundabout it's not exact um and the 15 so yeah uh, $15.12 to spray on the urea and gibberellic acid plus my time plus running the tractor and diesel so it is going to be a little bit more expensive when you put those things in but otherwise it's actually a very cheap way to put on uh, urea and a cheap way to get some growth so we will find out over the coming weeks on how much this grows so yeah keep watching and uh, find out what happens right going to get on and measure this uh, paddock and see what we've got in here and then we'll have something to start with all right we're on zero so let's go Right, so the average pasture cover in here at the moment is 13.96 a hectare. So, so that gives us something to start with. So now 
if y'all plan on coming back, I'll probably do it on a Monday, not a Sunday, or maybe Sunday afternoon. But um, yeah, I'll come back and measure it, and we'll compare the sides and see how much uh, they're growing and the difference they're growing. So yeah, very, very interesting to see. I'm, I'll be looking forward to seeing it because yeah, I've never, never done any comparing like this before. So yeah. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Something a bit different. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you somewhere else on the farm. See ya. We had another heifer calve just this afternoon. Me and Suzanne did a little bit of drafting out just a half an hour ago. We've got a cow here that's carved. Oh, sorry, a heifer that's carved. And then there's two empty ones, and then there's a sick one, and maybe another empty one. So, yeah. So, uh, Look at that tomorrow.